Hey skeletons, it's Wolf here, gonna show you part two of the Perfect War replay. So here we have Legit's attack on number six, Ninu. Pretty good hero attack. He only has a level one queen, so he can't do the disappearing queen act like he would preferably do, but works out pretty well. Good placement with the spells leads to an epic attack. This is why you need high level minions, guys. Alright, number seven, Big Danny. Gonna be a hog rider, hog attack, ho we officially. So, drops the archers down to not waste any time, sends out a lot of archers, BK to finish the job, and there are the hogs. Good placement of the spell, he's able to catch both streams with one heal. Another critical heal spell moment. There. And then it's just clean up that's left. Outside big bomb. Just doesn't matter at this point, guys. It's really why you need double big bombs. Can't say it enough. Alright, number eight. J Swag with a hog rider attack. A whole wee and a pretty spread out base. So this one, just because of how spread out this base is. He sends in enough hog riders to take out this first layer here. So a little bit unusual, but definitely not um, uncommon. So I think that was four, or I think that was five hogs, which is a large amount. So the witch in the clan castle makes it tough, but so we had to give him witches. We knew that they, they were all using witches in the clan castle, so... It's definitely something to look out for. Clans that have it together enough to use witches in the clan castle usually mean they give everybody the same thing. Which, if you've noticed, is why we're going to do that now. And easy three there. If you notice, most of these attacks are by their equal. Nine attacks nine, eight attacks eight, so that's really good, guys. Alright, and then we have a Go White by Metal Player. Doesn't really get to lure, but doesn't matter too much. Sends in the Golems. Rages. Rage at the point of contact. Makes it real easy. Blast into the core, and that spells disaster for this guy. Another good Rage to get him through the wall, and is in range of pretty much all the defenses. And just not, not enough meat is left to take out that Pika. So there you go. Good go wipe there by middle player. And the last attack in uh, part two is Jacob. On this sketchy weird base. Remember guys, with dragons you really want to attack from like a flat side. Just makes streaming the dragons to the core that much easier. So really good pathing. Utilized by those rages to help direct his dragons exactly where he wanted to go. And that turns into an easy three. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoy part 2 and stick around for part 3.